So we're doing, we're playing a classroom scenario where David is going to be the professor. So he's going to start a session, and Amina is going to be a good student who joins to the classroom on time, and I'm going to be a bad student who joins the classroom late. And Lon is going to walk you through um, the steps we're doing. Okay, so let's start with uh, our website homepage. So we have um, the uh, homepage oh, right there. You can see that we have the uh, option for the professor on the left side. That if he presses start, then the thing will just the recorded session will start. And as you can see here, um, the you are the six digit unique code for this uh, this session is going to be seven two. ZV4W. That's seven two ZV4W. Uh, in this case, um, because Amina is going to uh, be a good student, she's going to enter the class right now, and she's going to do it via the URL. So she, she's going to change the URL um, instead of speaker. She's going to use audience, and followed by the six digit seven two ZV4W. So she's going to enter the session, and then. Um, she's going to just going to see all of the text that is going to be uh, translated. So let's start the session. Well, students, today I'll be reading out of a passage from a textbook. Roosevelt succeeded in blocking the entry of Japanese immigrants from Hawaii, Canada, and Mexico while persuading the Japanese government to conclude a gentleman's agreement in 1908 to restrict the flow of its people to the United States. The agreement severely limited the inflow of Japanese immigrants, but it did nothing to, redu to reduce the agitation against these people that continued to mount in California. So as you can see, as um, the professor is reading the material the student here is seeing all of it. And now uh, we're going to have a late student who is coming in a little while later, and he's going to join through the um, input field. So he's going to go to the uh, home page, and then he's going to enter the, the exact same code that you we You tilt the screen. Yeah, there's a glare. OK. So the professor continues to, to speak. Yeah. Anti-Japanese riots broke out in San Francisco in May 1907, and there was even considerable talk of war between the United States and Japan. In 1913, an Alien Land Act was passed prohibiting aliens from owning land or leasing land for more than three years. Well, um, as you can see, uh, even though he joins late, he is still able to obtain all of the materials at the beginning of the session, which starts started when she joined. So, no matter when you join, as long as you have the code, it's going to show all of the materials. And then, and, I'm just focusing in on the original screen that we saw, and it shows the additional text as well. So. And then, oh, go for it. Don't, are you recording right now? So now we're going to um, end the session. So the classroom is over. And Amina is going to make some edits to her own notes. Then she's going to try to download the notes onto her computer. click on the um, text file, you'll be able to view the notes, which you can view at any other time. Okay. So just to clarify, I'm not sure it showed up clearly in the video. You were able to do some editing in the original window yes. before you hit the download? Yes. Okay. And that's pretty much our demo.